injury update on Mickey van der Ven and Solanke at Spurs ahead of Arsenal clash. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this update, be sure to press that subscribe button and keep up with all the latest news. Alastair Gold believes that, based on Ange Postacoglu's words last week, one would expect both Mickey van der Ven and Dominic Solanke to be fit to play a part against Arsenal. Solanke has only played one game for Tottenham since his big money from Bournemouth, with the striker missing the games against Everton and Newcastle due to an ankle injury. There has already been a lot of discussion in the media about the fee that Spurs paid for him and debates over whether it will prove to be money well spent. The striker will be keen to get out onto the pitch to prove his worth and he has a chance to become a Tottenham hero by scoring his first goal for the club against Arsenal on Sunday. Mickey van der Ven, meanwhile, sat out Spurs' trip to St James's Park after picking up a knock in the 4-0 win over the Toffees, with the Dutchman pulling out of the Netherlands squad and spending the international break at Hotspur Way. When asked if the pair could be fit for Sunday's game, Gold has now said on Q&A on Football London, We can only go on Ange Postacoglu's words and he said Dominic Solanke will be ready to face Arsenal. He said last Friday that he was close for Newcastle, but they wanted to err on the side of caution and had previously dispelled any suggestion he would miss the North London derby. It sounded the same with Mickey van der Ven, as he said he was close in training this week, but with the international break, he's not quite 100%. With a further two weeks of recovery and work under their belts, you would imagine both will be in a position to face Arsenal, but we'll get the final word on Postacoglu on Friday. Given that they would have had two weeks to recover, one would expect both Solanke and Van der Ven to be fit to make the starting lineup for the big game on Sunday. Tottenham are ready to launch an attack for £25 million rated defender. Multiple Italian outlets are now reporting that Tottenham have set their sights on Lecce left-back Patrick Dorg. Spurs' previous raid of a left-back from Serie A has proven a huge success, with Destiny Udogi hitting the ground running at the club since arriving from Udinese a little over a year ago. It has now been suggested that the Lily Whites are set to look towards Italy again to strengthen their ranks at left back, with Dorg in their sights. The 19 year old won many admirers after breaking into Lecce's starting 11 last season, and Quotidiano di Puglia revealed that Tottenham took a close look at him during the recently passed transfer window. The outlet says that the teenager remains on the radar of the North London club, who are now ready to launch an attack for his services. It is revealed that Lecce will not consider selling their starlet until next summer, but Spurs and others are ready to act right now, to start negotiations. The publication adds that it would take an offer of at least £25 million to convince the Serie A side to cash in on the Denmark international. Sport Mediaset also report on Tottenham's pursuit of Dorg, stating that the Lily Whites hold a strong interest in fullback and could make an approach next summer. A new left-back is certain to be on Tottenham's wish list over the next two transfer windows, with Ben Davies likely in his last year at the club. Patrick Dorg certainly fits the profile that Spurs are likely to pursue, given his age and the attributes he possesses. Tottenham are keen on signing the Italian international midfielder Samuele Ricci. The 23-year-old has attracted the attention of European clubs with his performances for Torino. The Italian outfit values him at £25 million and Spurs are keeping tabs on him ahead of a potential move. According to HITC, the North London club scouted him in action during the UEFA Nations League yesterday against Israel. They could certainly use more quality in the middle of the park and it remains to be seen whether Spurs follow up on their interest with an official proposal to sign the player. Tottenham sanctioned the departures of Oliver Skip and Pierre-Emile Hoiberg earlier this summer and signing a quality young defensive midfielder would be ideal. The 23-year-old will help shield the back four and he will help Tottenham control the tempo of the game from the deep as well. He has been compared to the Spanish international midfielder Rodri because of stylistic similarities. The Italian international has the potential to develop into a quality player with the right guidance and regular football in England could accelerate his development. Tottenham could nurture him into a key player in the coming seasons. The reported asking price seems reasonable for a player of his potential potential in today's market. Spurs can certainly afford to pay up, and it remains to be seen whether they can get the deal done.
the 23-year-old midfielder could easily justify the investment in the coming seasons if he manages to adapt to English football. Multiple outlets are now reporting that Manchester United are considering a move for Adrian Rabiot, who has reportedly been offered to Tottenham over recent days. While the transfer window might have closed, clubs across the Premier League still have a chance to strengthen their squad as a few free agents are now looking for new clubs. The most high profile of those is Rabiot, who is now reportedly talking to various clubs after his contract with Juventus ran out. Just a few days ago, TBR Football claimed that the Frenchman's agent had reached out to both Tottenham and Arsenal regarding a move. However, various sources now suggest that Manchester United could be the ones to press ahead with an offer for Rabiot. This includes Team Talk, who say that the Red Devils and Newcastle United are both weighing up a move for the former Paris Saint-Germain star. This information has also been backed up by Court Offside, who now claim that United want to strengthen in midfield and are considering making advances towards Rabiot. It is explained that although the new United regime prefers signing younger players, they could now make an exception for the France international. The Manchester club are alleged to be holding internal discussions at the moment about a move for the 29-year-old, who is thought to be keen to play in the Premier League. Whether or not Manchester United make an offer to Rabiot, there is on chance that Tottenham will get involved. Ange does not like stopgap signings and would rather hand more game time to Archie Gray rather than add a potentially disruptive character to the dressing room. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching and as always, come on you Spurs!